peaceful. It's peaceful and yet at the same time it's loaded with uh, adrenaline. The serenity you have with your horse in the sea is indescribable. It's, it's amazing, you can feel the, the strength of the animal. You feel he's walking through the sea, you're on top, you see the sea. It's, it's totally in peace. Along the shore near the Belgian town of Ostdoinkeke is the only place on earth where shrimping is still done on horseback, as it has been for over 500 years. 37-year-old Nayla Baycart and her horse Axel set out bright and early. She's the world's first officially recognized female horseback shrimper. In 2013, UNESCO added the age-old trade to its list of humanity's intangible cultural heritage under the one condition that it had to be open to both men and women. UNESCO is actually the reason why I mocht to the to the paardvisserij officieel erkend. Dus voordien was het effectief ja, het was een mannenclub en en er komen daar geen vrouwen bij. Maar goed, uh, ik heb me moeten bewijzen en eigenlijk dubbel moeten bewijzen, maar het is gelukt. En nu, allez, hebben ze wel vrede mee dat ik er ook bij ben. Nela Baycart had to complete a two-year internship and pass several tests. The mother of three earns her living with a job at a nursing home. But in her free time, she heads out to the beach to be on hand two hours before ebb tide. We gaan zien, hè. De ene dag kan dat niet zijn en de andere dag kan dat 10 kilo zijn. Dus ja, het is afwachten. The methods have barely changed over the centuries. During shrimp season in the spring and autumn, the horses pull fine meshed nets over the sand beneath the surf. Unlike fishing from boats, this way leaves very little bycatch in the nets. What there is can be released immediately. Even so, the bulging nets their ancestors pulled up are the stuff of legend for today's shrimpers. Today's big boats are decimating shrimp stocks. After about half an hour, Nela Baycart and fellow shrimper Katrine Terren pull up the nets for the first time. Everybody's anxious to see what they've caught. The catch is a bit meager, but it's big enough to serve as bait for a much bigger catch. The horseback shrimpers pull in tourist crowds to Ostdoinkeke and its seaside resort. Today, a total 17 townspeople carry on the tradition, both men and women, just as it used to be, recalls Stefan Henke. Long geleden, als ze nog met ezels vesten, want meestal de vrouwen die vesten. Want de man moest de, was uh, op ijsland gaan varen of was vester op zee. En de vrouwen gingen gaan vesten met een ezeltje voor eten voor de kinderen. De, de, de garnaaltjes was uh, bijverdiensten voor de kinderen. Katrine Teren and her partner take the catch to their farm for processing. Once they die, they start to rot. So you need to go as fast as you can from the beach to your house so you can cook them as fresh as you can. In the end, it came to a few kilos, not enough to live on by itself. They're just lucky that the quantity is no longer a matter of survival. Five hours, four, two kilos, maybe three, that's 30 euros for five hours with two people. You cannot live by it, eh? But the community, the town, they will support us because they say if you go fishing, the tourism in our town will bloom. And more tourism means more hotels, more restaurants, more shopping. That's good for the town. Belgian shrimp stuffed tomatoes, tomate au crevette, are a classic dish. But for the Flemish on the coast, nothing beats shrimp croquettes. A seemingly easy yet tricky recipe, says fishmonger Angus Wittervrongel. This is a real traditional Flemish speciality. It's a big competition to make the best croquette crevettes throughout the coast. You know, everybody wants to have the best. 
most crusty one, most flavors in it. But the filling has to be very exactly. It don't has to be fixed, you know. It don't you don't want it to walk away needed. Golden brown, fantastic. That's the way we want it. This is like gold, you know. On her farm, Katrine Terren also makes shrimp croquettes for tourists who've worked up an appetite from fishing. She'll have to spend a couple of hours shelling shrimp. But first, she's got to look after the horses. Shrimping has also become a means to preserve the now rare Robin's draft horses. There's a switch in the people. They want to rediscover traditions, but not everyone. There are still people who want to modernize, who want the better phones, the better computers, the better the websites, digital, everything. And there's a, a little population that says, ah, I want to experience the old traditions, how it used to be. Horseback shrimping, an age-old yet very sustainable and environmentally sound method, is undergoing something of a renaissance, thanks in part to the first two women shrimpers in the saddle.